From the moment this car starts up, you can tell something is different. That's it, huh? That's it. And the screens come on and all I have to do is push D for drive and we're ready to go. The all-electric Tesla Roadster can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds with 288 horsepower and a 244 mile driving range. Sales advisor Sean Phillips says it costs roughly $5 of electricity to charge up, giving it an equivalent of 120 miles per gallon of gas. Keys get lost. So that was 0 to 40 <laughs> in probably about just under 3 seconds. And then another cool thing is when you talk about instant torque, it means at any speed. So we're going 30 miles per hour now, and I'm going to accelerate, and it's just instant. It jumps and it goes. So we just went from 30 to 50 within about a second there. In the back, we have the large battery pack. This is what has the 6,831 lithium cells in it. These orange power cables are pulling 400 volts out of the battery, bringing them into our power electronics module. This is where the onboard charging system is. It's also a power inverter. So this is why you don't have to install anything special in your house. You use really what's a glorified extension cord. So this is a 110 volt cord. A little bit better than 110 volt is a 220 volt connector, which is what most of our owners rely on. So that's a clothes dryer plug. They'll put one of those outlets in their garage and that'll cover all of their charging needs. That'll do a full charge in the car in just over six hours. Tesla Motors was started in California's Silicon Valley in 2003, and the company is run like a startup. Philip says the car was built to propel interest in electric vehicles. I mean, there were electric cars at the turn of even the 20th century, but not like this. You know, we've been promised for you know 100 years since then in sci-fi, you know, in, in this normal fiction, you know, more efficient cars better performing cars, electric cars, and nothing had been done about it. Detroit wasn't really doing it, Tokyo wasn't doing it, Germany wasn't doing it, the Italians sure were not doing it, so nobody was fixing this problem. What we made is an uncompromised electric vehicle that really doesn't have a downside to it. The downside is the price. Actually, one thing drivers might want to keep in mind is the life of the lithium-ion batteries. Tesla claims that at seven years or 100,000 miles of use, the batteries will still retain 70% of their capacity, but replacing the batteries could cost $12,000. The Roadster will phase out at 2,400 vehicles, but the company is making plans for a sedan and other products, wanting to drive innovation at lower prices and help put more electric vehicles on the road. If you start on the low end, you make all these compromises, you make a product that not everybody wants. Most everybody wants this car, but not everybody can afford it yet, so we're going to make things they can afford now. This is Chris Young with the Richmond Times-Dispatch.